I'm going to choose the yellow color and I'm going to measure this angle down here. You should have already measured it, so you should just be checking behind yourself. Yes? Yeah. Rice and Charlie, if I'm in your way, you can move. Okay? Sorry, but, you know, got to do what you got to do sometimes. I really like this little camera. If anybody want to make donations, that'd be great. I'm just kidding. All right. Figure out the lines that you need. This is the line that I need. Two lines, really, that make up my angle. With me so far? Yes. How you with me? Be looking down at your hand, protractor. I'm gonna take my bubble. Where should my bubble be? In the corner. And I love how Michaela said, in the corner of the angle you are measuring. So I'm gonna take my protractor up. Now this line here is my zero line. What line should it be on my triangle? The bottom, the resting line. Now I'm gonna take that bubble up, line them up perfectly. This right here is the line that I need to be using as my stopping line, yes? yes. yes. But my problem is my line is teeny tiny. It's I can extend it, so I'm just gonna turn my protractor, make it longer, turn it back on my resting, and this is 90 degrees. What do you call that angle? Right, right angle. How many of us got 90? Woohoo! No questions about that. Nope. Aiden? Good? Did you give me a thumb up? Good. Now I'm going to choose, let's see, green. And I'm going to do the top angle. So find your top angle. Here is the line I need to be worried with, and here is the line I need to be worried with. Where should my bubble be? Perfect. No. My zero line has to be on my resting line. Now, depends on how you want to measure it, because I can make this line down here my resting line and put it on zero. Or, some people might have turned their protractors all the way around and made this line over here their resting line. Regardless of the way that you do it, you should still get the same measurement. You got it? Okay. So, I'm going to go back this way because it just makes more sense to me. Here's my resting line. Bubble on the corner. Resting line on zero. Here is the line I need to stop at. Now, you are more than welcome to do this number here, but you better make sure it's pretty straight. I wouldn't suggest it because a lot of times we're not straight line drawers. So, I would suggest using your straight edge. But, what is the degree of this angle here? How many of us got 50? Remember, follow, I'm going to write this because I'm videoing it, follow the zero brick road. Can you see it in the camera? No. Are you serious? Okay. Anyway, follow the zero brick road. So here's my zero over here. Follow the zero all the way until the extended line. Good? This is going much better than last class. Maybe I should have had the camera then. Now I'm going to do, uh-oh. I got a lot of colors on the angles. Which ang angle do I have left? The one. Yeah, that one. Right, that one. The right. Orange. There's a line that makes up that angle. There's the line. Anybody want to tell me my degrees and see if we can get it? Chance? Anybody get something different than 40? No way. Every single person in here got 40. Yeah. King. Okay. Let's see how correct you are. Let me let me see if I can write it up here. Bubble on the corner. Can you see now? The zero. Zero. What if I write it right here? Can you see it? Follow the zero brick road. Can you see that? Yes. Good. All right. Bubble on zero. 
Now, this is where you might see that this line right here, you can definitely extend it out, but if you're not a straight line drawer, I wouldn't suggest it. Start at my zero, 10, 20, 30, 40. How many acute angles are there? How many right? One. How many obtuse? What makes an angle obtuse? Uh, over 90, over 90, 90 degrees. degrees. Can you please do both triangles in pair B? 